how to enable live caption on the redmi k20 pro running miui 11 based on android 10. if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can enable live caption on your redmi k20 pro running miui 11 based on android 10. the prerequisite for this video is that you need to be running miui 11 based on android 10. from what i have researched this will not work for miui 11 based on android 9.0 pi next thing you need to make sure is that you are rooted and you have magisk manager installed you would also need access to the internet on your redmi k20 pro we can first go into settings and then we'll go into additional settings accessibility and as you can see i do not have any option for live caption right now all the files which we are going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video what are the files which we need these are the files which you need so you need a specific apk of device personalization services then you need the magisk modules for device personalization services and the magisk module to enable live caption on your redmi k20 pro first thing we'll go into magisk then click on the three bar menu on the top left and then go into downloads once you're in downloads make sure you are connected to the internet and then click on the search icon on the top right and then you need to type in sql from the keyboard once you type in sql you will get this magisk module which is named sql light for arm space arc 64 devices click on the down arrow then click on install if it asks you for permissions to your photos media and files click on allow and then wait for magisk to install the module once magisk has installed the module you need to click on reboot back into android we can unlock our device and then we will open magisk manager click on the three bar menu on the top left and go into modules make sure that sql light for arm space arc 64 devices was installed successfully and it is activated how do you know it is activated you can tell that by the check mark inside the circle next click on the plus sign and then click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show internal storage if you get the option as hide internal storage then you need not do anything next click on the three bar menu on the top left and select your device's name in my case the redmi k20 pro now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the zip files and the apks which are linked in the description of the video in case you downloaded them on your phone directly they will be in the download folder i have created a separate folder called live caption and let me change the view to list view next we need to install the device personalization services magisk module so select this file and then again wait for magisk to install the module once magisk has installed the module successfully all you need to do is click on reboot back into android we can unlock our device and now if we go into settings and then we go into apps and then we click on manage apps click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show all apps and then click on the sort by change that from status to application name and then search for device so here it is we have an application called device personalization services and you can see that the version is 2.0.26 this is not the version which we want we want another version so what we're going to do next is we will go into the file manager application and then click on apks and then you need to install the device personalization service apk which you downloaded from the link in the description of the video which is this one com.google.android.as and the version is 2.6.27 select it then click on install now once this has installed successfully we will go back into settings and then go back into apps and search for the application one more time so apps manage apps and then we will search for device personalization services just type in device and here we have it device personalization services as you can see the version has now changed to 2.6.27 and this is the version which we are looking for next we will change the permissions so go into app permissions and as you can see that all these permissions are in the denied section we need to move them over to the 
allowed section how do you do that well you just click on the permission name and then click on allow so i'm going to do this for all the denied permissions and there we have it all the permissions have now moved to the allowed section next we will go back into magisk manager three bar menu on the top left go into modules click on the plus sign and then click on the three bar menu on the top left select the device's name and then go to the folder where you have downloaded all the magisk modules and the apk file in my case live caption and the last magisk module which we need to install is the live caption pixel dot zip select the module wait for magisk to do its thing which is it's going to install the module once that is done all you need to do is click on reboot back into android we can unlock our device open magisk manager for the one last time and then go into modules make sure that all the modules which we have installed are installed successfully and they are activated as well next we will go into settings and then we can go into additional settings accessibility scroll down and we should have an option for live caption there it is live caption in the building click on this guy and now make sure again you're connected to the internet because you do need to download some additional files by clicking on download it is telling us that the update size is around 40 mb click on download now and once that is done all you need to do is enable this toggle here it is live caption in the building click on ok and live caption has been enabled on our redmi k20 pro next thing we'll check whether it's working or not so open chrome browser and then we can go over to youtube.com and play some video and here it is we are in youtube let us just play any video which shows up we'll just play this video and bam there it is you can see that we do have live captions coming and let me just skip the advertisement oh i don't have the option to skip the advertisement but you can see that live caption is working we'll just wait for the video to play and there it is live caption is working like a boss on the redmi k20 pro now in case you do not get live caption working in the first go then what do you do well in that case make sure you reboot your device once and then go back into settings additional settings accessibility live caption and toggle the live caption option on and off and that should make live caption working on your redmi k20 pro and that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you